In this video, I'll describe how to create formulas to solve related rate problems. Here is a spherical balloon that is being filled with helium at a constant rate of 90 cubic inches per second. We'd like to know how fast is the radius of the balloon changing when its volume is 246 cubic inches. If we let r represent the radius of the balloon in inches, v the volume of the balloon in cubic inches, and t the number of seconds elapsed since the balloon started filling with air, then dr dt is the instantaneous rate of change of the radius of the balloon with respect to time, that is, how fast the radius of the balloon is changing, and dv dt is the instantaneous rate of change of the volume with respect to time. So, using this notation, our goal is to compute dr dt when v is equal to 246 cubic inches, given that dv dt is equal to 90 cubic inches per second. Since the balloon is a sphere, we can define a formula that relates the volume of the balloon and the length of its radius. This formula is v equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. This formula alone doesn't tell us values of the instantaneous rate at which the radius of the balloon is changing because the formula relates the values of the balloon's volume and its radius, not the instantaneous rates at which these quantities vary with respect to time. So, in order to answer our question, we need a formula that relates dr dt and dv dt. How can we do this? The main idea is to think of v as a function of t, because as time increases, the volume is also increasing. Similarly, we can think of r as a function of t. Then, we can take the derivative of each side of the equation. On the left side of the equation, the derivative of v of t is just dv dt. On the right side of the equation, to start, we'll keep the constant of 4 thirds pi. Then, since we're thinking of r, as a function of t, we'll need to use the chain rule. So we'll take the derivative of the outside function, so 3r squared, and then multiply this by the derivative of the argument. And we can cancel the 3s, which leaves us with 4 pi r squared times dr dt on the right side of the equation. Then, since our goal is to compute dr dt, we can divide both sides of the equation by 4 pi r squared. Now we have a formula for dr dt that involves dv dt, which we know is equal to 90, and r. We can use our formula that relates volume and radius to find the radius when the balloon has a volume of 246 cubic inches. We can plug in 246 in place of v and use a calculator to solve for r getting that r is approximately 3.9 inches when the volume is 246 cubic inches. And now, since we know that r is equal to 3.9 and dv dt is equal to 90, we can compute a value for dr dt. It's 1 over 4 pi times 3.9 squared times 90, which is approximately equal to 0 0.47 inches per second. Let's think about how we arrived at this answer. We started with a formula that related v and r. Then we thought about both v and r as functions of time, and then we differentiated each side with respect to time. We had to use the chain rule to get the equation that related dv dt and dr dt. This equation is called a related rate formula since it defines the relationship between two instantaneous rates of change, or derivatives. Let's define the idea of a related rate formula in general. Suppose the variable a is a function of the variable b, and then we think of both a and b as themselves functions of x. To get the related rate formula that defines the relationship between the rate of change of a with respect to x and the rate of change of b with respect to x, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. On the left side of the equation, we get dA dx. On the right side of the equation, we have a composite function because f is a function of b and b is a function of x. So 
we need to use the chain rule. First, we differentiate f with respect to b, and then multiply by the derivative of b with respect to x. This resulting equation is called a related rate formula.